What does that even mean, Bowers Game Club? Welcome to YouTube. I'm back again today for another How to Play video. And today I'm going to teach you how to play Merry Guessmas. This is for ages 5 plus and it's for 4 plus players. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do in this game is make sure you break up into teams of at least two. And you can have as many teams as you want. And if the teams are slightly uneven, it's not a big deal. Next, you're going to want to take all the challenge cards, shuffle them up, and place them in the center. You're also going to want to have this big stack of toys face up with whichever side you're not using. So right now we're gonna be using the green side of the card. So we have the blue side face up. But once we go through all the green cards, we'll eventually have the green cards face up since we'll be using the blue side of the cards to avoid repeats in future games. But right now we want the blue side up. And with the teams, you wanna make sure that teammates are across from each other so they won't be able to see this little gift right here. Now the youngest player is going to be the first guesser. And their partner on their team is going to be the clue giver, or one of their partners on the team if you have more than two players. The clue giver is going to draw one of the present cards, go to whichever side you're using, and then slide it into this little plastic gift holder right here, which we're actually going to put face down so you can see. Now, the clue giver is also going to draw a challenge card, read out the top of it so everybody knows what the challenge is, and then play will begin... When the guesser, aka the youngest player in this instance, is going to turn over this sand timer right here. And now, as long as this sand timer is going, the goal is that the clue giver is going to be able to get the guesser to name as many of the presents as they can, and those are points that they're going to get. Now, the basic rules are that you can't say the word at the very top. Because if the clue giver ever does say whatever that word is, their turn is immediately over. And it's the other team's jobs who aren't actively engaged in this particular round to make sure that the rules are followed and that the timer has not ran out. Now, those other players are also tasked with making sure that the clue giver follows whatever the challenge is. And there's four different challenges in the game. So let's talk about those four challenges right now. So first we have one word challenge. This means the clue giver is only going to use one word. No words from the naughty list as well, because the naughty list are the three words listed on the bottom which typically you can use as great clues to help someone guess your present, but in this instance, you can't use them. Next, we have Silent Night. The clue giver must be silent, so they have to use their hands, they have to use their body in order to get the guesser to guess whatever the presents are. Next, we have Aerobic Answer. So this one, you have to spin in circles while giving the clues. And last, we have the Naughty List. Don't use any of the naughty words on the present card, and those naughty words are listed down here at the bottom. Now, if the guesser is stuck and they can't guess the gift, you have one skip that you can use every single turn. And if either player wants to use that skip, then you just put this card face up in the discard pile and then boom, you go to the next card. Now, if the guesser does correctly guess the gift and the timer hasn't run out, obviously, then the clue giver is going to draw another present card and another challenge card and tries to earn more points. And just to clarify, if you skip a word, you still have the same challenge. You don't get to draw a new challenge. However, once the timer runs out, the guesser is going to get all the presents that they were able to successfully guess. So for this instance, they might have guessed the flashlight, but not got the diary. So the diary would go face up the discard pile. The flashlight would go face up in front of them. That card is now one point closer to winning you the game. And the game will end after five rounds. And to clarify, a round is when every single team has had at least one turn. Because now that this turn would be over, this would go to the next team, clockwise around the table. Also, within teams, make sure that you're taking turns being the guesser and the giver, so everybody gets the full experience. Now, one rule that you're going to need to make up yourself because it's not covered in the rule booklet refers to the cheating. So once again, if someone ever cheats by breaking the rules on the challenge cards or naming the actual present itself, their turn immediately ends. But if they've already gained a point or potentially more on that turn, do they get to keep those points? You decide. But whoever has the most points after five rounds is the winner of Merry Guessmas. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps me out. Also, consider subscribing or supporting the Patreon since I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun, and thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.